Hey guys, Joshua with Josh and Hunter's Adventures and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're talking about our top nighttime bass fishing baits. Here in my area, we start fishing at night about the end of May and it goes all the way through September into October usually. Uh, we fish a lot of the TVA chain lakes and those fish just seem like they bite better at nighttime. And I've got some baits that have helped me out throughout the years catch a lot of fish and I'm gonna share them and hopefully you can use them in your area and catch a lot of bass. So let's get straight into it but if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell that way you know we put out videos okay so I've got a few baits here we're going to go over them and I'm going to show you a few different colors of each one and what I like to throw uh, like I said uh, we start around the end of May 1st of June is when we pretty much do all our nighttime fishing uh, but our first bait that we're going to talk about is a nighttime spinner bait and a nighttime spinnerbait is usually anything from a half ounce to a one ounce. I mean, it's a pretty big bait because what you're doing is, is you're throwing it and you're fishing it really, really close to the bottom. And most nighttime spinnerbaits have a really, really big uh, Colorado blade right there. You can see that this is a really big one. Um, but I think this is a three quarter ounce here. Um, but as far as colors go, I like anything dark, okay? That's everything that I'm throwing at nighttime is gonna be dark as you're gonna see all these colors. Some of them have just different dark in them. Uh, this is like a June bug color here. It's a really good color at nighttime. Uh, and as far as it goes for spinner baits, I play around with the blade color a lot. Uh, just seems like sometimes they want, you know, maybe this the blacker color that's got a little bit of purple on it, and then other times they'll want like this gold with a black and blue here. Uh, as you can see here, uh, didn't mention the other one, but I do run a Fat Albert Twin Tail or a uh, regular. You can see right here, there's a difference, um, just a single tail. Uh, like I said, this is a black and blue with a gold blade. Really, really good color. Probably a lot of people throw black and blue. I mean, that's just uh, one of the things. Another really good color is a red and black. Uh, this is a uh, really good color also. You can see I've got a black uh, Fat Albert on the back of there, a twin tail. And this has just got that big blade uh, with a little bit of red on there just to give it a little bit more flash. And these, these blades right here, man, they thump so hard. Uh, it's crazy how hard you can feel them thumping. But a nighttime spinnerbait, like I said, I'm going to fish these on any steep banks, a lot of points. Uh, places like that and I'm going to fish it down to 20 25 foot deep and you could probably even go deeper if you wanted to But I like getting off the bank and throwing it up there and then just slow rolling it down Basically, you can let it hit the bottom and just pick it up and just start slow rolling it all the way back to the boat uh, But uh, when they hit that man, it's a it's a really good time on a, on a nighttime spinnerbait uh, Okay sticking with uh, you know sort of blade style baits, I guess uh, we're going to talk about a buzz bait. A buzz bait is a really, really good bait for nighttime uh, bass fishing. Uh, it makes a lot of noise. Uh, like I said, I keep my colors fairly simple. I don't really play around too much with the, the blade size at nighttime. Um, I throw a, you know, a gold, a silver, a black. I don't think that really matters. If it does, I haven't really uh, noticed that much. Uh, this is a uh, black and purple and got a little bit of blue in it. I, I made this skirt myself. Um, one little tip that I will give you on a buzz bait, and I try to get it close in the camera, is this little collar right here. If you will crimp that down, that doesn't allow it to spin and it'll make it squeak a lot better. Because uh, you want your buzz bait to squeak, uh, at least on these one. Another one I'm going to show you is a little bit different here in just a second. Uh, but a buzz bait is a really, really good bait. A lot of times I'll, th I'll try a skirt and then I will go to something along the lines of like this right here. Uh, with just a trailer's type on it. This is a, a, a Zoom, um, I don't really remember the name of that one, but it's a Zoom bait right there. You can see it's just got uh, almost like a, a crawl type flappers, but it gives off a lot of movement going through the water. It, it's got a really good sound to it. It squeaks really good going through the water. And another thing that I play around with a lot is a plastic blade, okay? I've got a clacker on that, so it makes a lot of noise. Um, I run a, uh, a trailer hook on this one. You can see the design of this um, buzz bait here, how much lower that the body actually is in the water versus the actual blade. So uh, that's a really, really good bait. Catch a lot of bass at nighttime on that one. Okay, so we've talked about spinner bait, 
buzz bait. Now let's get to soft plastics. Uh, at nighttime, I like to throw bigger profiles of soft plastics. I just feel like that they're able to see it. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple different colors of the baits that I like to throw. Um, I'll go first with a um, brush hog here. This is a Zoom brush hog and a June bug. I really like June bug at nighttime. Uh, it's got a little bit of that glitter in it and uh, just uh, uh, shows up a lot better uh, to the fish's eye at nighttime, the darker profiles. I've got a, uh, this is a, I think a black, blackberry maybe. It's almost like a June bug. You can see it's got purple in it, but it's like a, uh, I think I've got it right here. Um, yes, it's a blackberry. Uh, this, like I said, I want that bigger profile, these big flappers, and these are all going to be Texas rigged. So, you know, you're going to rig them with, a, you know, a three alt, four alt hook uh, with, you know, whatever size weight, whatever depth that you are fishing. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, a quarter ounce, three eighths, whatever you want is, uh, is good. But you're just going to Texas rig these. And uh, like I said, the brush hog is a great bait. Uh, now, moving on, uh, I like to throw the Mag 2 and the Old Monster, uh, the Zoom. Uh, those are big worms you can see here. I'll hold them side by side. Uh, the Mag 2 and the Old Monster is a, is a little bit longer and a little bit bigger profile, but they're both really good worms. And this one is in a black and blue. I think it's a, like a black sapphire. That's a really, really good color at nighttime. And then another favorite of mine in all the baits, really, uh, 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 is a cherry seed. I really like the cherry seed at nighttime. It just seems like that red shows up really good to them. And I uh, caught a lot of fish on a cherry seed at nighttime. Okay, my last bait, and probably one of my favorite ones to throw at nighttime, is a lizard. I love throwing a zoom lizard. Uh, this is a black with a chartreuse tail and a black with a blue tail. I will also throw a cherry seed a lot at nighttime too. Uh, but yeah, those are, uh, I love throwing a lizard. I just, I don't know what it is about that, but I catch a lot of fish on, on a lizard style bait. And that's a six inch lizard that you can go up to an eight inch. Uh, if you if you want, that would be a little bit bigger profile, uh, but still going to catch fish. Um, but that is my my go-to baits at nighttime: a spinner bait, a buzz bait, and like I said, my soft plastics, whether it's the lizard, the brush hog, or the worms. I try to keep my plastics, like I said, you know, bigger profiles just to uh, have them uh, be able to pick it up more. But guys. I believe if you give these a try in your area, you will see that uh, it's a, they're really, really good baits. I've caught a lot of fish on all of these uh, over the years, and it's been a really, really good time. Like I said, get out there, go night fishing, and uh, go catch you some big old bass at nighttime. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, you can go down the uh, comment section and leave it down there. I'll be glad to answer it the best that I can. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That way you know when we put out videos. Until next time, this is Josh with Josh and Hunter's Adventures. Thanks for watching.